Welcome back to my channel. I am Sierra Saron and before I get started, I wanted to show you the actual wig. So this blonde synthetic wig is off of Amazon, which I will leave in the description box down below. So as you can see, the actual part has a lot of space for you to work with. And there are a tiny bit of bald spots in the back, but I do believe once you put your ball cap on, you will not be able to see it and you can pretty much cover it up. So this video did already come pre-plucked for those who aren't that good at pre-plucking and I did also do a lot of plucking off camera. This video is just showing you my method of how I pluck and also to keep in mind with synthetic wigs you don't want to pluck way too much because with synthetic wigs it does tangle over time and it does shed over time so I just want you to keep in mind while you're watching this video and you're plucking to definitely not over pluck this wig. So what I love about this wig is that there are barely any tracks in the front that you can see. So the wig is very versatile. As you can see, there's no tracks as I'm splitting parts in between the hair. Okay, so to start off, I'm using a comb to start splitting sections, and the sections don't need to be perfect, you just need to be able to see the actual scalp of the wig. So, I'm combing the hair forward and back just to make a nice clean part. So yes, this wig was getting a little bit of tangling, but only at the bottom portion probably because I was going back and forth between water and actually combing the hair. Okay, so now taking a spray bottle, I'm just going to make sure I spray that section all the way until it's wet. And this just makes it really, really easy to pluck and to see how much you're plucking. So I'm going to try and explain this to the best of my ability, but when you're using the tweezers, the pointiest side, the sharpest side, is what you're going to directly be applying to the wig to start plucking. You use that end to start actually pulling the hairs. So the best advice anybody can give you when you're plucking is to not stay in the same place. When you're plucking to get the best look possible, the most natural look possible, you need to keep moving your hand around. Never stay in one section. I know it looks like I'm not really plucking anything because you can't see the excess hair, but that's why you keep seeing me brush. As you keep brushing while you're plucking, you can see what your part is looking like and you can also see the excess hair that is coming out because when you're using a brush, that's brushing all the hair that you're plucking out of the way. So I also want people to keep in mind, although this video is relatively short, plucking can be almost an all day task if you really want the look that you're going for and it also depends on what wigs you are getting. In general, the better the wig that you buy, probably the less plucking you will have to do. If you buy, for the most part, if you buy synthetic wigs, you will have a lot of plucking to do to get a natural look. But luckily this wig in particular, it did already come pre-plucked. So it didn't take me as long to pluck it, but just keep in mind plucking can be up to a few hours if you want to get a nice natural looking hairline. I'm splitting the section again because it is better to work in sections and pluck that way to get a more ombre effect with your hairline. So as you can see, I already split the section and I combed the part away and now I'm plucking in the next section. And like I said before, you want to pluck in a motion where your hair is going. So I'm plucking, but I'm plucking in a way where I'm pulling the hair back with the rest of the actual hair. 
just so it's easier for me when I'm brushing for the excess hair to come out. So also you should be mimicking the motion of how I'm doing with the hairline because that just prevents you from creating a bald spot. When you're kind of moving your hand back as you're plucking, you're just preventing yourself from staying in the same section and that overall just helps you not make a bald spot. Now I'm just showing you how far I've gotten and I also wanted to show you the difference in how the top is still slightly thicker than the rest of the wig. So that's going to be my main focus right now is going in at the top and trying to minimize the amount of thickness. If you're wondering what brush I am using, I'm using a detangling brush because sometimes that is best to use on synthetic wigs because it's not so rough with the wig. It's only brushing out the hair that needed to be taken out. It's not being as rough because as you know with synthetic wigs, once you start being rough with the hair, the hair starts falling out even faster. So all of the products that I'm using from the tweezers to the detangling brush to the clips are all from the beauty supply store. Once again, if you're not sure if you're over plucking or you're plucking the right amount, even in between plucks, just keep brushing the hair because that will show you whether or not you're over plucking or you need more plucking to be done. It was right there when I found out that's what I should have been doing like two hours ago. So when you're holding the section of the hair that you split off, it minimizes the amount of shaking your mannequin head is doing while you're plucking, which will make the process overall easier. So definitely the section that you're splitting off, just hold that as a grip to keep the mannequin in place.
So I only plucked the one side on camera because we would have been here forever if I tried to show y'all how I plucked both sides. But hopefully you still got an overall view of how to start plucking your hairline if you don't know where to start. So now I'm going to just show you the comparison between the side that I already did pluck and the side that I did not pluck yet. Although keep in mind that the hair did come pre-plucked and also I did do some plucking prior to this video. But like I said, it may not be to the best of your ability simply because when it is a synthetic wig, if you want it to last longer, try your best not to do as much plucking and please do not over pluck a synthetic wig because then you will not get that much use out of the wig overall. Okay, so like I said, I did pluck the other side of the wig off camera. So this is the finishing look and I will be sure to leave the link in the description box because this was an amazing wig, especially for it to be synthetic. So this is the ending of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave in the description box below and thank you for watching.